So during the year current challenges, I just wanted to share a bit about NPM's background and our, I suppose, comeback from the coronavirus pandemic. NPM are a family-run business, been going now for 42 years, uh, predominantly in Handley and Chop Spray GRP uh, with an RTM department as well. At the very start of COVID-19, uh, we took the decision to close all Bar of Skeleton staff. Um, it was, I suppose it was a worrying time for everybody um, and the, the decision was taken on a, on a uh, health and safety reason just in regards to social distancing, people being on site, staggering break times, um, but three, uh, three, sort of three or four diehards stepped forward and said if we're staying open we need to be open, we'll be in. Um, so we ended up running a skeleton team of eight to ensure that one of our clients that was very much a, a key worker uh, was kept supplied because we were their sole supplier. Um, throughout the eight weeks uh, there was no, uh, no panics, no issues, um, but during that time we were constantly working and thinking about bringing the team back in safely. Um, unfortunately, as with many other companies, most of our customers shut, so over 80% of our customer base shut down, so orders were drying up anyway. So the order book was still relatively positive at that time. However, if we'd have just carried on emptying the order book, we'd have probably come back when, when the rest of the world woke up with nothing on the order book. So it was very much focused on keeping the uh, key workers going. Now, during the comeback, we've, we've tried to, we never rotated staff because the people that were in were happy to be in. Um, and we asked the question each week whether they wanted to be furloughed and rotate, but it was my opinion that I'd rather than rotating, I'd rather a settled team because we knew that everybody was sort of work home, work home, and we're all healthy. Uh, we then started phasing people back in as customers reopened and they had requirements again. So we worked on uh, staggered start time, staggered break times, reduced the number of people in the canteen, took out crockery, so on and so forth, updated all risk assessments, implemented uh, uh, a temperature screening uh, system, so that flags up alerts if anybody is running a high temperature before they come on site. There's hand sanitizers in six locations on the site and signage everywhere for social distancing. So we were quite happy that we could bring the team back safely. And then we ran a phased return, so we brought nine back, then two back the following week, then two back two weeks after that, so that it gave the team chance to become sort of accustomed with the, the new ways and some of the things that had changed. The risk assessment side was made easier by some of the work that Make UK and Composites UK were doing and sharing through e-newses e and so on and so forth. Um, and I think that is a, a great tool to have uh, to support members of Composites UK and it certainly helped us look and, and sort of dot the I's and cross the T's in our risk assessment. Each month now we are completing feedback on the safety of the team coming back. So after the first two weeks, uh, we requested written feedback from the team on whether they were happy uh, with the safety measures, if they thought anything could be improved and that averaged a score of 9 out of 10. So there were a few things to improve which we have done um, and it's at least a minimum of two meetings every week with the team just updated and making sure we're following all the procedures. So in the main I would say that we are we're comfortable and we're safe at work and we're relatively positive about things returning as in orders and such like. I think there will be challenges ahead um, but I think with the support of people like Composites UK out there and us continuing with that safety in mind first, I believe that we will come back and we'll be back stronger.